Yeah, great achievement for the club. Um, it was a different sort of scenario, different challenge tonight for the players, and we handled it extremely well. I thought, um, you know, we had a sort of a mindset around trying to win the game early and scoring the points late. Um, yeah, that was our theme for the week, and, and I thought we did that. You know, we, we started off, obviously, we, sc we scored some points early, um, but we, you know, I thought we, we built the game nicely, but then we went away. You know, we went away from what we're doing. There's a couple of, you know, things that, that went against us, and we didn't handle, um, but then we found a way again, and I thought that was the most pleasing part. Some of those tries, real box office stuff, weren't they? Yeah, there's some great tries there. You know, we opened up a little bit, uh, and that's what we wanted to do. As I said, it was about sort of, you know, being dominant through that middle third early and, and putting some fatigue in them, and then and then opening up and playing. And I, I thought they had a really nice balance of that. What does it mean to get the home tie and the fourth place finish? It's huge. It, there's no doubt about it. Like you know, to think that. Uh, it was possibly, you know, it was our last game um, of, the year, of, of the year at home last week, and then there was a, there was a possibility. Uh, as I said, the scenario that we're, that we're in was, you know, it was a um, you're not in control, full control. You're in control of obviously trying to uh, first try and win the game here, but then win by a certain amount, and then you're not in control of what happens over at Lee um, because we, we end up getting the points, and then we had to wait another three minutes, four minutes, whatever it was, but. Um, regardless, I mean, even if Lee went on to win that game, um, I still would have been extremely pleased with the outcome of, of what we did today. You were adamant you weren't going to have half an ear on what was going on over there. You got much more discipline than me. Did, did you manage to stick to that? No, I, the back end I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the back end I uh, obviously because it was so tight. Um, and once I knew we scored enough points here, because what it was all about was focusing on what we could control. And then once we did our job, then yeah, we needed to find out whether. The other, the other um, team that we're going for did their job. <laughs> Just talk to us a little bit about what happened before the game because Dean Hadley had to, had to pull out. What, what went on there with it? Yeah, we, we had a bit of chaos the last couple of days. I mean, Rhys Kennedy didn't play, he wasn't, he wasn't all that well, so they, he pulled out. And then Kane Lynette yesterday um, had a bit of a calf issue. Um, he went for scans and he's okay, uh, but wasn't right for tonight. And then and Dean Hadley's the same, so he just ran out and then he felt his calf straight away in the warm up. Um, so I went against us early, and then obviously um, Batch goes off, um, had to do a HIA past it, but we, you know, we put Stoz, sorry, Stoz before the game as well. Um, he was ill, and the chance he was, wasn't, wasn't gonna play, so we warmed him up to see how he'd go, um, and then he got through that, and then he started in the back row, so then we put Mini to the other, other back row. So that, that's what I'm most pleased about, is, is how we handled um, you know, a bit of chaos that we had. Considering all that, then how well did Matty Storm play tonight? Yeah, he was great. He was outstanding. I thought there was a, there was a, there was a number of players there tonight that were were great. Um, none more than Mikey Lewis. I thought it was an exceptional game from um, from Mike. And uh, yeah, there's a number of guys. I thought Jesse Sue was uh, has come back. Being Jesse Sue again, you know, obviously been out for a long time. Um, Jordan played long minutes. Um, I thought Jez Jez Litton came on the field and did some good things as well. So. You know, we, we've spoken about we're a squad, and the squad's got us in this position, and the squad got us to a home semi. Um, as I say, there was you know, Yusuf wasn't playing, um, you know, yesterday, and then Ethan Ryan was 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 19th man, but, he, but he's a possibility. Then he comes on 18th. There was just a lot that happened. I thought we handled it. And do you think the entire squad's available for next week? Then, about barring the obvious admissions, I need we need to have a look at Dean. I'm not sure uh, with Dean, but hopefully. what was that really sorry? His calf. So it pretty much when he ran out the, for warm up, he felt it straight away, um, and then it just started getting worse. So that's why he didn't play. Was Jordan okay? Jordan had done with it because he did that high bomb, didn't he? He looks like he shook, he shook his head. All his hammy, is he all right? Because he missed touch. That's why. <laughs> he went straight to the hammy. No, I mean he's okay. Yeah, yeah. as far as I know, he's okay. But I, I was concerned. There's no doubt about that because he slipped, and then you can obviously do your hamstring and all that. So. Um, I need to get a full report, but Jordan finished the game, so I don't see an issue there. He must be so happy, obviously. It was a bit of a flat first half. One hell, the boys came out in the second half, and once they clicked, it was just a show, wasn't it? It was brilliant to see going through that adversity again, because that's what you're going to need in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, um, you know, I, I thought we started off well, then we went, like you said, we, it sort of flattened out in that first half, that first half period there, and then we spoke at half time. We did, I think we did enough early in that game. If we did that again early in the second half, then you know Wakefield might go away a little bit. Um, obviously, with us having to play a lot, you know, for a lot more, that's not disrespecting you know, Wakefield at all. Um, but we had a lot to play for. So once we put the foot on the pedal, 
Um, we we'll, we'll play some good rugby. Uh, that's just the word on your, your hard backs tonight, they, they really enjoyed themselves. It seems to be really good fun going into yeah. the playoffs. Yeah. Mate, Mikey had a great game. Um, what we did tonight, we played, which was a little bit different, but Minchella and, um, and Abdul uh, were on the field for a long period where Minnie played in the middle of the whole game. Like, he was outstanding again. Uh, and then Jordan played long minutes at 13. It just gives us a little bit more uh, options in, in attack. We don't have as much size, um, but it was a game that we needed to, to score points, and that's, that's why we kept them on the field. It was purely around... So they can combine with, with Mikey and they can combine with Brad Schneider and, and obviously uh, and Jack Walker. Jack's come off. Um, I need to get a full sort of report on him, but I think he'll be okay as well.